And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Shivana patch 114 just came out today. They updated it. We have um, some champions updated, and we're going to be playing those new champions, or at least the updated champions today, with our three decks. Um, this one has Lucian and Shivana. Now, the thing that's different uh, for Lucian is now that once you level up Lucian, you can rally. Um, like basically the first time it sees an ally die. So that's that's the new thing with Lucian. Not a very big change. Shivana, much bigger change. Instead of being a 3-4, has an additional point of power. So now Shivana will be a 4-4 four, four, um, going forward. So pretty excited about that. So we're going to be trying um, this mid-range. This aggressive mid-range deck with Lucian and Shivana. Also the top end, Eclipse Dragon. Used to be a 7-5, is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. For seven mana, we got a couple of those at the top end. Some Dragon Guard lookouts to rally and uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, this should be a pretty fun one. Let's go ahead and get to the games. We're going to be playing our five games in ranked. And let's see how we do with Lucian Shivana. All right, looks like we're playing against Ezreal Swain. And Twitch chat did say that all we're going to do is play against Ezreal Swain today. So... Um, I, I was skeptical. I was like, no, we're not going to play against Ezreal Swain that much. And I'm looking like I'm wrong right now. This looks like a pretty good hand. We'll just keep it. All right, so I'm not going to play the Dragon Guard Lieutenant on turn two. Because I played on turn two. Then we would just kind of be going to attacks and, and everything like that. I want to turn on the Pill Cascade. So I want to be able to play it first. And now Pill Cascade has Nightfall um, for us attacking. Now they did pass to me... As far as, like, wasting their turn goes, this is 5 damage. We have them waste their turn, because if their plan is, like, to play Ezreal after combat... Let's see if... I could also just pass... No, I think... I think I attack. Now, I didn't... I know I could have played the Tracker also, but the reason why I didn't play Tracker was... Um... Static Shock? But I guess if they play Static Shock, they're not playing... Ezreal. And, you know, of course, now I have Pill Cascade to go along with. Prepare for battle. So we'll have to see how this goes. I wonder, you know, we'll have to see if like just passing would have would have worked out better for me with them not playing anything last turn, and and you know, I'd still have the mana for for Pill Cascade and stuff here. I do like our, our two Dragon Guard lookouts. Those should work out pretty well. Because even like Thermogenic Beam, which is like the worst case scenario. <clears throat> We're still attacking for a lot. That is pretty interesting. Watch and learn. Come face me. I'm what nightmares fear. All right, so we're just gonna take down the Ezreal and uh, try to open attack next turn, and then Dragon Guard Lookout attack again. You know that kind of stuff. All right, so we won't we won't behold a dragon. Uh, 
Oh, Zenith Blade. I guess a Behold just means in my hand also, so I could just play the Dragon Guard Lookout and Rally anyway. So I could attack for two and then Dragon Guard Lookout and attack again. Or I could play Shivana and try to Zenith Blade Shivana. They could just, you know, stun Shivana. Um, but then I could have Dragon Guard Lookout for next turn with Shivana in play. The dragon's rage claws to get out. So I can't play Zenith Blade because of Ravenous Flock. I definitely really wish that this was like Sharp Sight, Pill Cascade, that kind of stuff. I, I don't know, I just like those cards more than Zenith Blade myself. Yeah, yeah, you could get more Pale Cascades with Diana, Shivana. That's yeah, something Diana does. I think I messed this up on the turn three by just playing the Flea Feather Tracker and attacking. Like, I guess I think I should have just passed whenever they passed. And I was pricing to use my Pale Cascade there. I think that's where I messed this game up. I don't know. They've always, they've had just, ever since then, they've had like the exact card that I don't want them to have the entire time. I wish we could play against that matchup again. I don't think that I'll lose hardly ever to that matchup, but I must have misplayed that on turn three. Or really, besides the turn three, the other thing that I really regret is the sharp sight, right? Like I sharp sighted uh, Shivana to block the Ezreal. That was a complete trap. That's where that's where I really messed that game up. I knew there was something I messed up. That's what I messed that game up. Because then that allowed their, their Scorcher to kill my Shivana. I messed that up. I should have just, um, I really need to do the sharp side on the, the Fleet Feather Tracker and block that way. Oh, 
Okay, so I like Lucian Senna, of course, to start with the the turn two, turn three. And then I just feel like Eclipse Dragon could be like one of a really important card in the late game against a slower deck. And so we're just gonna keep that and then we'll just have all of our draw steps to kind of fill out the, the middle. Push back the darkness. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to just lead with Dragon Guard Lieutenant here. Because I guess I like the Lucian Senna thing, but I, I didn't really think about Avalanche too much. This is a big, you know, like obviously playing Senna into Avalanche is a big problem. I'm going to go with the They Don't Have Avalanche plan. You call me Commander. Yeah, they don't have Avalanche. Alright, so do I let them play Catalyst of Aeons or not? I attack for 7, they Catalyst of Aeons gain 3 life back, so they do take 4 damage, but then they get to play Trundle next turn. Man. The dragon's rage claws to get out. Bring in the heat. I'll just go to right to attacks. Um you know, probably thinking a relentless pursuit. Man, they're they're just passing. So they don't even want to play Trundle or anything, huh? My shield is yours. Yeah, so they can have Ruination next turn. We're gonna deal ten to them first, though. If they just want to do nothing and then Ruination. Alright, so maybe not 10. So even if they play, if they... And they are so patient on that Catalyst of Aeons. Um, does that give them... Eight? That does give them eight. That does give them Ruination. I was gonna say, even if they do play Ruination... Ooh, no Ruination. Maybe they're just leaving themselves open to that possibility. Um... Like, we wouldn't actually really be... It wouldn't really... You know, it would look like it would kill four of our things, but it would kill four of our things, but also we killed two of their Ram cards, and their Ruination, and their Vile Feast. You know, so we were actually still trading... Kind of trading four for four. Honestly. No room for doubt. Grace Claw, half a year. Thank you so much, Grace Claw. I appreciate that. No, I don't think the consecutive nerfs to build water have been too much, no. They look angry. Of course they want to make this block. That's gonna be very good for my Senna. They can have double grasp the undying. Or Grass plus Vengeance. They do not, though. Alright, GG's, one and one. Victory Good thing we kept Jonathan. that... Um, that Eclipse Dragon in hand. Ooh. This could be a tough one. So this is kind of weird, because... Concerted Strike seems like it may be necessary to take down these things, but it w it's not something that you would normally want to keep in hand. Um, but I'm going to keep them. And Pale Cascade's not a card that I really mind either. But, you know, I just feel like we need to maybe get some other units and stuff and, you know, maybe not just keep Shivana turn four as, like, the first thing. Yeah, it's true, they did change Lee Sin's champion spell, so they could possibly change Shivana's. Don't get in my way. It's weird, like these two are like the same thing. Right? Like they they both cost three mana and they 
you know, basically have like the same art, like same coloring and everything. When you just look at them, it's hard to know, you know, like if you have them like both in hand, it's hard to know what's which one's which. But you think with their, her caring about like creating sh strafing strikes and stuff, you think that her champion spell would just also be strafing strike, but then it's just this other random thing that's like, wait, why is this? What's what's this thing? Yeah, it's like I thought we're I thought we're dealing with strafing strikes over here. What's what's this thing? I don't understand. This is mercy. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, confront... Yeah, that is true. Confront permanent challenger. It does, does work well with Shivana. I haven't... And I, I thought it looked pretty good when I was doing, like, set review and stuff and talking like that, like, theoretically playing the games. I just... I feel like I never end up having any time to actually uh, play the card confront. Now, let's see. Basically, what, what am I going to be doing with the Zenith Blade? I... Guess not played. I was thinking about just casting Zenith Blade on Lucian first and then playing Shivana. You know, you get Lucian. If you get Lucian with a double attack, the day break pretty good. All right, so they're sitting here like this. They probably have. Okay, no. Or I guess they were just thinking to attack. I was thinking they were, they were maybe thinking of um, the deal one and make things vulnerable card. Look lively, soldier. Yeah, I guess we'll just put it on Shivana. Gives them the opportunity to act here also without knowing the Screeching Dragon. Mr. Chop, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Suffer my fury. I may have challenged the 2-4. I don't know exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking that, like, between that and then, like, the three damage that's taking, like, maybe we kind of start killing this Broadback Protector, but that obviously wasn't, um, correct notion. Take heart. Live with purpose. Yes, I don't really know what I was thinking there. That was a pretty bad idea. This is your end. Seven man, seven, eight mana next turn. Yeah, I need, I need eight mana next turn. So for for strafing strike and concerted strike, so I can't play tracker. Star Spring's probably gonna win this game, isn't it? That was a bad attack. That was a bad challenge on that broadback protector. Yeah, you just have to play a completely different game against Soraka Tom Kench. It's kind of, it's you know, it's, it's odd. We gotta play just a different game. Yeah, this thing's already 15 out of 22. That's a lot. That's a lot. I guess I want to go in the other way. That's cool how they designed a deck, though. You know, like, this it's a really neat design that they did for, like, the Soraka, Tom Kench deck. They're, you know, basically Starspring, Soraka, stuff like that. Like, how they designed a deck that, that plays in such a different manner than, you know, your normal curve out and play things, attack. 
you know, basically what dragons do. There are just a lot of, you know, well-designed decks with this game, you know, like your your discard deck and, and things like that. There's there's some really cool uniqueness like that. And so the strafing strike would have stopped a bastion. Right, like if they would have had that. For silver I talk, for gold I feast it. I just made that. That was a really bad attack with my Screeching Dragon that I made before. That let them heal an extra four, and that's probably going to kill me. You know, like, we'll see if this uh, overwhelms Shivana can maybe get them next turn before that. Um, but I don't have any. I need these. Sh I, I mean, I just need these Shivana cards to be to be the other card, right? I need them to be strafing strikes right now because they're only four away. Oh my gosh! I just played the wrong card. I thought I was I thought I was playing Fleet Feather Tracker. I don't want to play that card. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna kill me. I feel better than you feel better. That gives them twenty one. Yep, and then that's 22. So yeah, I mean, I just, I messed up. I made that, I made that challenge on that Broadback Protector, and it cost me. Both of our loss, losses is pretty frustrating. Our deck has looked good, felt good, and both of the losses, um, just a one one change of like one play that I did, I do a different play. I think we're three and oh. But we're one and two. So basically at three mana, I don't think Senna's not going to really do enough, I think, for me at three mana, you know, like it's just gonna trade with it's gonna just trade it with something that costs less. I don't want two health at three mana. You know, I don't want it to blow up with a, like a more powder mega rain. Push back the darkness. Or, you know, just anything like a you know, three two or whatever. Burn away the shadows. Let's get it, crew. I've got us covered. I mean, so that's basically just casting another Lucian for two mana, and so that's worth it. Very good Sharp Sight. Our Sharp Sights have been very good. There's plenty of killing there. Block with Grenadier and do damage to me on my attack turn to level up Gangplank, or you know, get closer to leveling up Gangplank, which it looks like that's what they're going to do. But it's an attack that I need to make. If they don't break, they'll burn. Okay, so they would have dealt the damage anyway. The few for the many. Can't afford to take damage. That's really bad news. And that's good news. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in the field. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Want to play Shivana. But I can't really. 
Make the Empire proud. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Now I wish I would have played Shimano instead of the 3 2. You know, now they killed the 1 1, so I don't. I wanted the Dragon Guard loot. Lieutenant to kill that thing. Prepare for battle. Yeah, I guess it's true. I guess you know now we, we killed you know they could have just targeted the keg and now we we got rid of the two three also. Kind of for free. I have my orders. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. A little surprising they didn't play that saboteur first to be able to challenge with it. Oh man, this is too bad. We have all these expensive dragons. I can't play two of them. So basically, do I want to play Screeching Dragon to challenge Legion Saboteur, or do I want to play the Dragon Guard? look out to be able to attack again so if i attack for nine they block five five with two one they take four go to ten and then i play dragon guard lookout and then i attack for 13. they can block six power they no they don't die and then they have a whole nother turn i think this is the best move Looks like we got an invoke control deck. I yeah, don't see anything here to mulligan. We'll keep it all. I like having this sharp sight. excited to play this deck today. This deck I've been looking forward to playing all day. And we just cannot catch a break. I'll be surprised if we lose this game with how good our hand is and what we're playing against. I'll, I'll be pretty surprised if we do not uh, win this one. But we shall see. You cannot sway me. Damn soon. So by the way, you're supposed to attack with Lucian first before Senna in this scenario, because we're not leveling up our Lucian, but we have the opportunity to maybe level up Senna. Like if they had, you know, like Hush to take away the quick attack from the Lucian and I don't know, you know, like some kind of pump spells or something. You know, they could do whatever. And um, and they they kill my Lucian. We would have the Senna after you know they block and kill Lucian. We'd have the Senna afterwards that would get the plus one plus one and double attack. So you want the Senna second because they want to try to kill the Lucian. Hope they didn't just get the Equinox card and can use that on a Cythria. Hmm, I guess that's worse. This is mercy. Hold still. So considering doing two damage to them and drawing a card with Pale Cascade, but I'm holding off for one more turn. Well, that's a consideration. I 
am very jealous. I wish I had that card. So the Senna dying levels up Lucian, and then the Fleet Feather Tracker dying gives us the attack token. But what do I really want to do with that? Could use Concerted Strike here, just kill the Eclipse Dragon and not worry about my Lucian leveling up. I think I'm going to just do that. I don't want to keep the seven, the Senna. Forged in dragon fire. Ready this world must burn. Don't think they're going to be playing Ruination. I don't think. Maybe. It's certainly possible. So I'll pass. They ruination, I go Eclipse Dragon. I need like vengeance. All right, GG's. There we go. Two and three. That was a satisfying win. And then, you know, like we still were going to have the Dragon Guard Lookout and um, be able to do some extra attack in there and everything. So I liked our deck. I think our, I think our deck was pretty good. I, we had just three really close and very unfortunate wins. Um, I said wins, I meant losses. Uh, I Personal preference... I'm not a fan of Zenith Blade. I like single combat a whole lot. I think single combat's awesome. And uh, Pill Cascade, I think, is awesome. I would, I would, personal preference, I would play third, third Pill Cascade, third single combat. I would play those over the Zenith Blade. Um, I think that uh, you know, basically both those games, like whenever we had Zenith Blade, we had Zenith Blade in two of our losses, where both of those losses, the single combat would have been a much more effective. Uh, but obviously, you know, it could have been like the Pale Cascade, which would have been like the same thing. Um, no, I don't think the deck really needs Genevieve. I, I've, I've been pretty happy with Cythria in the deck. I've been pretty happy with Cythria. Um, Dragon Guard Lookout was worse this time than the last time that we played this. Because we have played this deck before. Um, I don't know, maybe about two weeks ago. We went 4-1 and one with it. We... we were successful against a lot of aggressive decks and we won a lot of close games with it just like this time you know we just lost more close games than we won um uh last time whenever we played it in the five games actually didn't draw zenith blade a single time we had three of them in the deck as well um but we had we only had one dragon guard lookout last time and it was really good for us and this time it was eh, so so um i i don't think it was necessarily like better than what Sith, than Cythria. Um, especially like that, you know, just against like the, the, the Swain Ezreal deck, like that, that first matchup, 
that was the first one where I just wanted single combat, not Zenith Blade, to uh, take down their champions. But anyway, um, the uh, the Dragon Guard lookout in that matchup, you know, it was just like a three five, and I I wanted six six, and like I thought six six would have been better. So I I would I would personally I'd recommend going the three Sithria one lookout. The Eclipse Dragon's good. Keep both of those. Um, and yeah, I would make that little change right there. But then I, I like everything else. I like having an Egghead Researcher uh, instead of the third, like, Bright Steel Protector. I like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like the, the rest of the deck. This is a pretty good deck here. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Lucian Shivana, and I'll see you for the next video.